Hi, I'm David and today we're talking about how to find a camping spot in a national forest. There are 154 national forests and 22 national grasslands in the United States. Uh, these are public lands that are managed by the U.S. Forest Service and they offer both dispersed camping and also developed campgrounds that are built by the U.S. Forest Service. Dispersed camping is free off-the-grid camping outside of a designated campground. Um, that means there's no amenities or hookups. And while it's not a developed campground, there are usually established campsites with a fire ring, and it's recommended that you use these sites if you have an RV or a vehicle so as not to disturb the forest. And just be aware that some dispersed camping areas can only be reached with a high clearance four-wheel drive vehicle, so it's important to research the site before you go. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. The amount of time that you can spend in one dispersed camping location, it varies from three to 30 days, but in most cases, the stay limit is 14 days in a national forest. And you can always look up the specific details on the US Forest Service website. If dispersed camping isn't your thing, you can always pay a fee to stay in one of the developed campgrounds. Right now, I'm in a developed campground in the Sam Houston National Forest. It's a nice big paved RV pad with full hookups, a fire pit, and a picnic table. At this time in 2022, the fee to stay here is $30 per night, and there's also a senior discount if you have a Golden Age Pass. Not all developed campgrounds have full hookups, but they'll usually have at least a water refill station, a fire ring, a picnic table, and a parking spot with some kind of restroom facility, even if it's a vaulted toilet. Sometimes locations have showers as well. The U.S. Forest Service's website is very useful, but my favorite way to find a good camp spot in a national forest is by using campendium.com. It's just a wealth of information and reviews from people who have actually been to the campground that you're looking at. So on the National Forest page on Campendium, you can see some of the top rated campgrounds in the United States. And if you scroll down, you can uh, click on View Map, which I'll show you in a second. But for now, just for an example, I'm gonna click on this one. So on a Campendium listing, you can see the name of the campground, the address, the phone numbers, the website, which will be the Forest Service website, um, the GPS coordinates, and these handy icons, like this one says open seasonally, four-wheel drive recommended. Those are very good things to know before you drive out there. If you click on a photo, that, uh, then you can see all of the photos taken by previous campers, Campendium users. Now if I go back to the listing and scroll down, I can see the overview, the last price paid, longest RV reported, all good stuff to know. The pad type is dirt. Here are the months that it, it is open seasonally the elevation, maximum stay, and whether or not tent camping is allowed. Um, here's the map if you want to look at the map. Uh, the Q&A section is very handy. This one says, can I take my RV up there? And if you click on it, here's a very recent answer that says, absolutely. I've seen every type of RV parked in various locations. Good to know. If I go back to the listing and scroll down, I can see the cell phone coverage, overall ratings, and most importantly, I can see the reviews. Now on some user profiles, they list what kind of vehicle they're in. Like this one, I can see they're in a 15 foot travel trailer and they have a very helpful review there. This user is in a 27 foot Airstream. And sometimes in the reviews, they'll talk about the conditions of the roads and what it was like getting to this campground because um, some of these, you need a high clearance vehicle. Now, if I go back, to the National Forest page, I can click on View Map, and now I can use all of the usual um, Campendium filters in the search section, such as RV hookups, cell phone, reception, the RV length, the elevation, and more. Then you just zoom in to find a National Forest that fits your style. Well, I hope now you have a better idea on how to find a camp spot in a National Forest. Don't forget to check out Campendium.com and also go to roadpass.com to find out more about all of their RV and travel related apps and services. Thanks for watching, till next time.